Hey, what's going on, you poo pushing plutocrats? Welcome to Grunt Speak Live. I am toxic male Terrence Pop. He's, uh, well, he's sick. I don't know really what's going on with him. He said he was hacking up a lung, but since he's just coming from Cuckafornia, Stan, I think odds are pretty good that it's like a two-to-one shot. He might have gotten a hold of some uh, Pride Pox-infected King Dongs. So, it is what it is. It's, uh, well, it's not just me here tonight. I decided to bring one of your favorite people along for the ride, Red Pill Rhino. How you doing, good sir? What is going on, guys? <laughs> I figure if I'm going to be gone next week, which I am, I yeah. don't need to take a whole week off. Pop isn't dead. He's just, well, he was going to come over here feeling how he's feeling. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm not just good. hacking up a lung, man. It's fine. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> If you got whatever it is that they have out there in California, Stan, and I want you spreading liberalism in my house, just keep it at home. <laughs> that actually reminds me, there's a chat in here from, well, what's he What's he going by tonight? Uh, Rhino Balls. Must have known you were coming. Uh, he wants nice. to know, Blake, did you put Pop in a decontamination chamber from his trip to California, Stan? We wouldn't want him to spread the California love, a.k.a. liberalism. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It is what it is. How you been doing today, good sir? Uh, just busy, very busy. Uh, barely made it here, to be uh, honest. I know the feeling. And hey, you know, we're letting you know up front that Pop is not here. If you're not up for a Blake and Rhino stream, that's totally fine. No one is going to judge you if you tune out now. So no big deal. <laughs> Pop is the Pop is the man with the plan. Uh, but with that being said. We do have some new lives saved to report. We are now officially up to, uh, what is this count up there? Let's take a look here. 475. And one nice. of whom, I'm just going to read this one out here because it's the one that I happen to have on hand. Uh, it comes to us, his uh, name is Nathan. And he's actually the one, if you look up on the bar there, you can kind of see the handle of it. It kind of sticks off the edge. You see it during the pop culture videos. The axe was made and fashioned by this guy. He said, uh, last message, I only half said what I wanted to say. Here's the rest. I by chance found your channel a few years ago. I was thinking it was popping the spinster bubble. I was in a deep, dark place in my head. Then I started watching the entire video library on YouTube, and I realized I was not alone. Through your humor and sage advice brought me back from a, making a permanent solution to a temporary problem. That's why I made you the axe and Blake the knife as a thank you for what you do. That's why I said I wanted you to know my no That's why I said I wanted to know my number. I'm forever in your debt. Thank you and keep going. Spread the word about you as much as I can. Thank you again. Keep up the fight. Outstanding. Good stuff. Man. I'm just gonna start throwing these at the camera for people. Here you go. <laughs> have have some dick. <laughs> Oh, man. This is, uh, it's been one hell of a week, though. I swear I can't keep up with half of the news that's coming in. Yeah. Every day it's something this week. Yeah. I mean, it started with Joe Biden going on 60 Minutes. I'm not sure if this is before or after he asked, hey, how long is the show? <laughs> is it like 45 minutes? Or do I have time to take a leak and get my butt wiped? Yeah. No. The pandemic is over. Oh. <gasps> It's amazing. And then Leftoids decided to turn into Rambo as soon as this happened. Yeah. It's over! Nothing is over! <laughs> Hence the title of the stream. <laughs> but this is hilarious. Like, he goes in here, hey, hey, the pandemic is over, and hey, we still have a problem, we're, we're still doing a lot of work on it, but the pandemic is over. President Biden tells 60 Minutes in an interview in Detroit, oh, he was in my own backyard, now I feel like I have to take a shower. Duh. Uh, Got a, yeah. got a mangy, dementia-ridden kid diddler in my own backyard. <laughs> and see, the thing is, man, uh, he knows uh, midterms are coming up, so he's trying to uh, appease some people, I'm sure. No, he would never do that. Oh. I mean, it's not like he resurrected the ghost of forgiving student loan debt at just the perfect time or anything. <laughs> yeah, just in time. He would never do such a thing. I'm not sure what this... This is how this is relevant on the, <laughs> not the B.com. You're confusing me with these weird graphics. You're just throwing in your shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man. It, it, what's hilarious is that every time he goes off script and says something like this, yeah. the Democratic establishment has to come out and say it without admitting it 
that one, he's not in charge, mm-hmm. and two, he's out of his fucking mind. And it didn't <laughs> take long. It was like less than 24 hours before nasty Pelosi and her nasty ass, fake ass titties. We're going to get around to some more fake ass titties later. Uh, She's trying to walk back his statement that it's over. Of course. You know, and this might be the one time he was actually right. Yeah. I mean, there is an argument to be made that he may have, you know, he could have been right if he said that a year ago, Mm -hmm. two years ago. I'm not jumping on any conspiracy theory bandwagons here or anything. I'm just saying. No, but, uh, you know, better late than never, I guess. Or, in this case, never. (laughs) Never. Uh, mm-hmm. Kyle Stewart says, I just asked Nasty Pelosi if she agreed with President Biden that the pandemic is over. I believe that we uh, uh, we, we need some more resources to be sure that it's over. <sighs> and, and then you just, this this face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Skeletor, I remember, man. Yeah, when she went all, uh, what was it, Walt Disney during one of her uh, <laughs> things, they're, they're asking oh. her questions and she just... She slips into full like Zuckerberg Android mode. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then there hell. was that whole. What was it? The uh, the burn pit. She did that whole weird thing with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just her summer getaway home. Yeah, yeah. You know how it goes. <laughs> that's what it is. She's quite a nasty, disgusting person. <laughs> but what cracks me up is that within. As soon as that interview came out, Twatter was exploding with hashtag COVID is not over. Leftoids going crazy. And it's not even so much, you know, like case totals or what have you. It's really. Do you think they're going to give up a gift wrapped excuse to treat other people like shit? Oh, no, absolutely not. Everybody's got their favorite COVID Karen video, I'm guessing, from from the last couple of years. I think my favorite was one of the first ones. Dude's riding down the sidewalk on his on his uh, bicycle. He's got the GoPro on. And then as he's zipping by this woman, she says, that's not social distancing. <laughs> and then oh, you hear man. him. He's like, from what? From, from, from who? Fucking yeah. bitch. <laughs> Do you have any favorites? Mm. Have you had anything that, that happened to you personally in the last couple of years? Any Karens? Uh, Everybody out there has got some Karen yeah. stories. Throw them in the chat. I got to hear about them. Yeah. Um, I've just had, like I said, in the business I do, I'm in and out of uh, several different types of businesses. And the thing is, is uh, yeah, I've run into a few where nobody else is doing the mask thing anymore. But in this particular instance, well, you can't come in here without this. I'm like, look, I'm already in here. I don't have it. Let me just drop (laughs) off this package. Well, you need to get a... All right, here's your package. Turn around. Good day. (laughs) I said good day. (laughs) Yeah, that's it. I think my personal favorite, I I take my son to the park a lot. And this is probably like high of summer 2020. It was like him and three other kids playing on this big play structure. Karen's walk by. Oh, I can't have that. Pulled out their phone and I shit you not called the cops. Really? On children playing on a playground. Oh, man. They just, mm. <laughs> And yet insanity. they all get door dashed like all through the pandemic. Like, yeah, you, you piss off somebody, you know, door dashing your food. I mean, you could wind up with some sneezers. <laughs> Just saying, like, that there is yeah. no guarantee. You fuck with people that prepare your food, it is on. Pop could tell you all yep. about that in the military. You never, ever fuck with people who prepare your food. Absolutely not. Nope. That, that's uh, a bad idea. Yeah. And aren't you, like, delivering, you know, COVID paraphernalia? Is it, like, part of your job? Uh, yeah, so that, well... <laughs> It was, but it's starting to slow down. So here's the issue. Um, when I started with this uh, this particular company, it's all contract work. You jump from one uh, business to another, depending on how the pay is. Anyway, so I took on this gig, and they were having me deliver uh, the. Can I even say the word? I guess like, maybe the, uh, the jabs. The poke and I was smoke. Delivering the jabs. 
Yeah. And then they're like, well, are you vaccinated? I said, no, I'm not vaccinated. And I'm not <laughs> planning on it either. They're like, well, we can't have you doing that. I said, well, that's a problem. I, that's when I emailed Pop to try to find the uh, the uh, legal information on it. But uh, as a contractor, it's basically, well, we can deny that from you if we want. So, okay, yeah. fine. Anyway, so I lost that, but I was still, this is the weirdest thing. So I couldn't deliver the vaccine, but I was more than welcome to show up and pick up and drop off live samples, that stuff they stick up the nose. And uh, some of the times, all they were (laughs) doing was wrapping them in like plastic bags. Literally, not, we're not talking like biohazard containers or anything. Oh, it's totally safe. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, totally safe. But I can deliver that, but I. I mean, even without the threat of the flu, I wouldn't want to be touching that nasty ass shit. No, it was uh, Ah. some sketchy stuff. That's quite sketchy. But yeah, it's and that's the thing. You (laughs) you go into these places still. The whole world's back to normal, except if you go to a hospital or a nursing home, they still treat everybody in there like they've got the dang plague or something. Well, they are the highest risk, but at the same time, I mean, let's just move the hell on. You yeah. Know, even if it Please. is purely for political BS, which is exactly what this is, because, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, they want their mail in ballots. They want their ice cream social 2.0. Yep. But at the same time, the money's starting to dry up. And most of the people out there who have been jabbed have only gotten it once. And yeah. I mean, they see what happens. I mean, now you have like official medical apparatus and establishment in here and in Western Europe saying, hey, uh, you jab yourself with this shit every 90 days, chances are pretty good you could cause a total immune system collapse. It's probably not a good idea. No, not to mention the fact I'm trying to stay safe on your channel. I'm not great on my own, but I'm (laughs) trying. Not to mention the fact that, uh, hey, look, they've admitted that if you you got uh, the coof, that you are just as uh, as immune as if you had a poke. Although, yeah. in my opinion, the poke is less effective. But what far, do I know? far less. Mm-hmm. But don't tell them that. Don't tell them no. that, that. They're too busy uh-huh. virtue signaling, especially over at the Washington Post. And I love how this one, no one wanted to take individual credit for this particular article. So it's just by the editorial board. I think they spelled huh. bored wrong, if you've ever actually tried to, uh, to read journalism from the Washington Post. Owned by <laughs> Jeff Bezos, of course. If only yeah. he could have lost this on no, the divorce. No. So they're, they're rampaging all about him. Like, the pandemic is over is surely what everyone wanted to hear. Biden made the declaration on Sunday in a 60 Minutes broadcast. But before rushing out to the ticker tape parade, sit down. It's still raging in the sense that it's a dangerous virus. It's infecting and sickening and killing people, mutating to survive mm-hmm. and haunting the globe. You mean like every other disease? Yeah, and uh, not to mention when it mutates, it usually gets weaker so that it can survive because if it kills off all, all of its hosts, then it's uh, effectively extinct. It, it's suicide <laughs> by proxy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Why Mr. Biden said otherwise is obvious. The midterm elections are coming. Wow, something from the Washington Post I actually agree with. And Americans feel an overwhelming sense of fatigue. If you notice, no one's wearing masks, the president told journalist Scott Pelley. Everybody seems to be in pretty good shape, and so I think it's changing. Hmm. Well, uh, the long-lasting ramifications on our children would tend to disagree with you. Yeah, there was some studies about um, some speech problems because of having that uh, speech the mask problems. The time. Overall IQ and learning aptitude has dropped among mm-hmm. children. But you know, totally worth it because you know we got to oh, yeah. keep we got to keep those elderly people safe. Said Chris Cuomo as he ordered people into nursing homes so he could mass murder them by the hundreds. Yeah, and, if, <laughs> and he was just one well, of five Democrats myself. who did that. <laughs> He was one of five Democrats that did that. One of those five, mm. my governor. That's how my Milky brother head. calls her Demon Milf, I, I really don't know. She looks more like Bruce Jenner with a heart on. <laughs> I bet she wears a banana hammock to the beach. Oh, God. Disgusting. Well, now there's a, a mental image you're not going to be able to scrub out of your thinking meat without whiskey. Here's one for you. So, <laughs> but it, uh, or should I say, but... 
it, they really get down to why they don't want it to be over. I mean, they don't admit that it's really just about being a Karen. We, we know that that's definitely part of it. Liberals love to pretend like they're better than you. If you haven't figured that out yet, you haven't attempted to sit down and have a rational conversation with a vegan. I said attempted. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to go well. It's, it's bad. So it says, uh, Mr. Biden has not ended the official pandemic emergency. When the official emergency ends, some 15 million will lose Medicaid coverage. The reason for a student loan repayment pause will end. The rationale for Trump-era border restrictions still held in place by a court will disappear. All this policy transition must not be done carelessly or hastily. And uh, I, I can translate that as uh, we don't let it, we don't want to let a good we don't want to let a good thing go to waste. Yes. So uh, we're we gonna don't want to pay as long as possible. Yeah, we don't want to pay our student loans. We don't want to pay for health care. <laughs> yeah. Gee, that could that possibly be contributing to the rampant inflation? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the inflation. Hmm. <laughs> the numbers uh, that they say, what, 8 or 9 percent now? More yeah. like 30 uh, percent. Yeah. And because it went down by like 0.2 percent using their fuzzy math this last mm -hmm. month, Biden said that it stopped because yeah. he understands less than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the other thing. They're not not—they're not at all in control of gas prices until they are, and they yes. start dropping, and they yeah. take credit for it. When they're on, on the rise, midterms. the president has nothing to do with gas prices. Why can't you get it in your head? The president's got nothing to do with gas prices. <laughs> gas prices go down by eight cents. Thank you, President Biden. You yeah. might, you might, and then all these guys uh, cup your balls well, while we, we wipe your butt? We cents on gas. Uh, yeah. Well, you're still paying $2 more, just saying. <laughs> Yeah, minimum. Minimum, depending on where you are. Is it still over five bucks a gallon in mm -hmm. California, Stan? I think it is. It's dropped to like uh, three sure seventy five here. here. Oh. Yeah. Right, where is it? What's it like out by where you are? Uh I think we're at like three fifty something right now. It's uh, pretty comparable to here then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> it just it, it cracks me up every time Biden opens his mouth. The entire establishment has to pretend like he's in control. They have to pretend like he's not nuts. <laughs> but they, I mean, what was uh, Jen Psaki one time? Well, you know, President Biden's opinion is not necessarily representative of the opinion of the White House. I'm like. <laughs> well, that, yeah. And what is his opinion representative of? <laughs> They've been telling us for two and a half years now, like for like you know, about a year and a half, almost two years, that he's not in charge. Yeah. And for some reason, there's still like half of the population that hasn't gotten the memo. No, blows my mind. No. They're not. They're not paying attention, man. Are they not paying attention, or are they, are they just that absorbed in their echo chambers and social media? I don't know. That and uh, Orange Man bad, and he's gone. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Orange Man so bad, Orange Man so fat, Orange Man so out of shape. You know, we should really <laughs> consider questioning his health as you know things move forward in his presidency. But then all of a sudden, after Orange oh. Man January sixth, apparently he's a Power Ranger who can like ninja move up through like the windows <laughs> of the limo and grab onto somebody and try to steer a car from the back seat. Yeah. Makes so much sense. <laughs> yeah. He just had he just had to find his power coins. You know, Donald Trump is a retired Power Ranger. You know, isn't just... there like a glass barrier between the uh, the driver <laughs> in the back too? Yes, I believe so. Tyrannosaurus Rex Itis wasn't even the same <sighs> vehicle. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. To try to figure out a leftoid. And you would think yeah. that at least by now, a few of them might have picked up on this. I mean, it's not surprising that he says this weird shit. I mean, just look at him. He finishes his highly scripted speech. And then he's... Yeah. <laughs> it's like John Travolta, the, the gift from Pulp uh, Fiction. Mr. President, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> With the jacket over his <laughs> yeah, exactly. Such a momentous event. The word thank you seems... 
kind of inadequate. But for all How the millions uh, <laughs> whose lives will be saved. And you know, the rest of the world is looking at this. Yeah. Like, we're showing our weakness right now. It's insane. Absolutely. If you want to know what's really going on, you just watch Sky News out of Australia. <laughs> they rip on him and come swallow a heels up, pull my hair is daily. It is mm. beautiful. <laughs> Check that out. I mean, it's it's straight news, but it might as well be comedy because you know it, you got pieces of shit in this country like Donna Lamone, but basically anybody working for a lamestream media outlet, they are sucking this dude's cock off, flaccid as it is, <laughs> every day, coming up with all these excuses why he's still the most popular president ever. And yeah, most free and fair election. My most free and fair election ever. And the only one you're not allowed to question because it was obviously mm-hmm. the most free and fair election ever and therefore can stand up to criticism. Oh, wait. Hmm. <laughs> no. Maybe, maybe we need to rethink yeah, no, that one uh, for a second. It's so free and fair that, uh, you know, they have to go after a pillow salesman, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What about that other pillow salesman, the one who survived two mass shootings in schools on two different coasts only a couple of years apart, and he's totally not a crisis actor? Um, I hear he's a bit of an attention hog. Not familiar hog. with that one. <laughs> I hear he's a bit of an attention hog. Just saying. Hmm. I, I didn't. I think Ben Shapiro just ripped him a new asshole on social media recently because he's talking about like, well, you know, I'm I'm focusing on on bettering myself and getting a Porsche and all this stuff. He's like, well, uh, judging from the success of your pillow company, uh, you're not going to be able to afford that Porsche. Can I interest you in a 2004 Kia? <laughs> well, that's good stuff. Well, <laughs> David Hogg is he's kind of low hanging fruit, really easy to make fun of. But yeah. then again, it's in current year, most things are pretty easy to make fun of. You're just not allowed to. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I remember when comedy was supposed to be offensive, and that's what made it funny. Now it's just offensive, and you should be canceled. Oh, yeah, man. and that's the last bastion of truth, and even the comedians can't uh, do their job anymore. It's like... <laughs> Yeah. It's getting ridiculous. When the woke statutes turn on Dave Chappelle, mm. just just pack it in and go home at that point. You know, I was surprised uh, Netflix didn't can him over that. They actually kind of doubled down on keeping him around. Well, because at the end of the day, money talks and bullshit walks. Yeah. And they're hemorrhaging users, hemorrhaging subscriptions. The money's not there anymore. Dave Chappelle still brings in an audience. And you know who doesn't bring in an audience? The schmucks over there writing code. Mm Mm-hmm. So, yeah, whatever. Fuck him in the asshole with a big rubber dick, like I always say. Uh, We got 37 people watching this over on Twitch. Hope everybody's enjoying the stream tonight. 37 also on DLive. Wow, matching. And 27 on Odyssey. Uh, Oh, we got 100 library coin from... (laughs) What? It says Terrence Pop. Oh, no, it's from, uh, it's to Terrence Pop, but I can't even read the date. It says Space Pirate Ivan says your stream settings are way over the top. You're running at a very high bit rate. 1776 is recommended. Your output revolution is, resolution is over 720. Bit rate is variable, should be constant. Your keyframe is not set to two seconds. All of these things are on your side, not Odyssey. All right, I'll check them out. I believe I actually (laughs) dialed things back quite a bit, but we're streaming to more than just that platform, so got to think about everybody else as well. Sometimes Odyssey runs perfect, other times it doesn't. It is what it is. But uh, I got 27 people watching there. Rumble's rocking 621 and a $50 donation over there from DGRINDE. Thank you very much. It's great to see you guys live tonight. Get well, Pop, ready for a new Congress, aren't we all? Yeah. I mean, you got to be who in their right mind said it was a good idea to let these bumbling chuckleheads vote to give themselves raises. Mm. I mean, yeah, not to mention, oh. you know, the uh, the term limit problem. Yeah. Uh 619 on YouTube, outstanding. Yeah, term limits. God, they need to have automatic term limits. I, I, I would suggest eliminating their pensions completely. 
maybe give them like a three to five year pension after they leave office so that they can reintegrate themselves into society. Congress was not supposed to be a career. It was supposed to be a civic duty from people who felt compelled to do that. Well, and I don't even think they they should be qualified unless they've, uh, you know, worked a real job in their life. Yeah, worked a real job, served in the military. I mean, Congress used Mm -hmm. to be primarily veterans. Now they're primarily lawyers, doctors, bureaucrats, pieces of shit, kid sniffers. (laughs) Yeah. I could go on and on. (laughs) They suck. But hey, what was I saying about kid sniffers? Hmm, segue. <laughs> if you guys watch the quartering, you've already heard about this, but it's definitely important to to bring about. We're just going to say we're not going to censor ourselves. Gays Against Groomers has been banned by PayPal and Venmo. Joining the club. <laughs> we got banned like six months ago. Good times. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at this article from Your Tango and you only read the headline and nothing else, you you won't be able to sniff out the bullshit. PayPal accused of contributing to cancel culture by banning right-wing hate groups. And then they just ha- they hide gays against groomers here in the headline image. Okay. Mm. Uh gay people not really known in general for voting Republican. Yeah. Not saying uh, it doesn't happen out there, but not the majority. Yeah. We can call them gag. <laughs> Cause you know, that's their favorite thing to do on the weekends. As long as they don't wind up with the sores on their mouth. Oh, <laughs> or their nose. Like the guys whose nose was just like rotting off of his face. You know, it's just the most attractive. Yeah. That's a, ever seen. a pleasant image. So pleasant. Yep, uh, so PayPal and Venmo, which it's yeah, it's a subsidiary of PayPal, so it's basically the same company, have started banning yeah. right-wing gender-critical groups from using their platforms to receive funds for purchases made on their website. Uh, this realization, or this, this banning came about, what was it, 24, 48 hours after GAG announced that it had achieved non-profit status? Mm. And then all of a sudden, boom. Yes. Very uh, interesting. Yeah. I love how they, they even they redact the G word <laughs> on, <laughs> on, the, on the website. Well, they didn't want to yeah, they didn't want to get banned off of Twitter. I didn't even <laughs> notice this earlier. <laughs> It says, we've just wow. been banned from Venmo and PayPal within minutes of each other for violating their user agreements. We're an organization that consists entirely of gay people whose only mission is to safeguard children from abuse. Woke homophobia is real. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, um, that's one way for big tech to admit what we've known for a while. I mean, if you remember earlier this year... Back in March, and then when did it happen to us? Two months ago, Patreon banned Redonculus. Patreon blacklists Blaze TV host Sydney Watson for hate speech. Because, you know, she, hmm. she believes in basic biology. Yeah. Yep. Watson said she never posted any content on Patreon and yet was still banned for alleged acts of hate speech. So she never even posted on the platform. <laughs> and they still so they blacklisted banned- her. <laughs> I don't I don't know what kind of nightmare world we're living in where you can't even <laughs> Wow. Just being the wrong person at the wrong time anymore, banned yeah. everywhere. Literally it was there just for people to donate, it says. And she's I never actually post anything on Patreon itself, which means they're banning me purely based on what I've said on other platforms. And even then reading through their guidelines, I haven't done a single thing listed. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh rules for thee, not for me. Yeah. So. Well, I forget when it was. It was a few years back, uh, roughly around the same time, like Sargon of Akkad and Lauren Southern, a whole bunch of other people were banned off the platform. And and they called it Manifest Observable Behavior, which didn't have to take place on the site. So, Minority Report. Basically, yeah. We're going to, you know, ban you for stuff that you're not even doing on our platform. You're completely within our TOS. You haven't done anything wrong. But wrong thing. But you so might off. do it. You might, yeah. Yeah, Tom Cruise is going to break into your bedroom and keep you from <laughs> stabbing that 403 with scissors. It's quite, just, wow. 
<laughs> and you know what really pisses me off is that months after PayPal and uh, Venmo nuking my accounts as well, they still try to send me account updates. Like, motherfucker, you made it clear I am not welcome on your platform. Why are you tr still trying to send me account updates and trying to tell me about the new big things on your piece of shit Marxist platform? No, thank you. And they still never gave you a, a valid reason either, did they? Nope. Um, I had to search on the internet to find out that they were in cahoots with certain poke and smoke creation facilities, the Pfizer. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that they had leagued up with them to censor dissenting opinion. So there's somebody on their team or some buddies that are actually taking the time out of their day to track down all these channels and content creators that have uh, dissenting opinions, huh? Yeah. That's insane. Or maybe it just takes one person to report you, and that's all it takes. I, I mean, because yeah. we don't live in a world of due process anymore, that's for sure. No, no. Did I do it backwards? Is it 304? Is it 403? I don't know. Yeah, I heard the 403. <laughs> 304, 403. <laughs> Somebody in the chat's like, ha ha. I was like, I'm probably backwards. I don't know. <laughs> Even though I've, you know, it seems like we've been taking it easy this week, I've actually been working my ass off. <laughs> So I'm a, a little out of sorts. But uh, we can read a couple of chats here and then jump into the next subject here because, you know, it's, uh, it's a little sensitive. Don't turn on us, okay. Susie. Uh, crust no tuna. I don't know why, but that <laughs> makes me feel disgusting. <laughs> Just reading that. Uh, in a hole and I need to maneuver out. Thoughts on enlisting in the Army soon and using the military, travel and pay to springboard myself into self-responsibility. Am I stupid? Um, well, Pop would tell you at this point, if you don't have to, don't. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Or if you have I, to I do it, if you feel like you have to, do your four years and get the hell out. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. Like, just, you know, one and done it, man, if you have to do it. It's just like marriage. <laughs> if you have to do it, one and done it. <laughs> yeah. If you have to, yeah. and that's a good point. Yeah, but uh, crust no like tuna. It's that important. Yes, <laughs> if you feel it's that important, just one and done it. But uh, crust no tuna. If you want to uh, write to Pop, I mean, he's still checking his email. He's probably watching the show right now. Redonkulous12 at gmail.com, spelled the dyslexic way, of course. Uh, Greg V952 sent $20. Thank you very much, good sir. Not a banned account says, Will we soon have the honor of defeating Russia? <laughs> and how soon will the Ukraine counterattack Moscow? Don't know, don't care. Not my circus, not my monkeys. That's pop show. Uh, Wadley225, pop, here's a euphemism for death slash dying. He got PCS orders for his next duty station. I'm going to copy that for him. Right. He's going to like that. Uh, Shark Dentures, F it. Took 20 minutes, not counting the pee break, trying to edit down my S alliteration. Greeting chat to get past the sensors. Yuck, foo tube. <laughs> <laughs> and then you still didn't get it posted. It sucks. Wow. <laughs> Man, yeah, YouTube is just getting more and more draconian all the time. Yeah, like I was saying, they uh, seem to be allergic to money, man. Yeah, they're really not. Mm, they're not thinking long term. That's for damn sure. No, the, the, there used to be they're nothing. They're creating a lot of good competitors. Yeah, and we're on a bunch and, of them right uh, now. And uh, did you know? Uh, I'm sure you know. Rumble went public the other day. I did not. Yeah, uh, I am not a financial advisor, but uh, if you're looking for a place that might be an investment, Rumble is public now. That's probably not a bad idea. Hopefully, hopefully they don't get corrupted by money. But as we yeah. all know, every edifice that starts making money sooner or later starts making stupid decisions based on said money. <laughs> you can just pray that we're wrong. Wait well, you can. <laughs> yeah. Get in while the getting's good. As soon as they start doing stupid shit, do what your daddy should have done and pull out. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, I, I wish this person's daddy would pull out. <laughs> For those of you who are living under a rock and have not yet heard about our next stunning and brave bastion of man-made vaginal beauty... <laughs> This is a real Transformer teacher in Kanukistan who teaches high school shop 
And if you say anything about it, you're a bigot. I hope we don't get banned for showing these wacko, huge prosthetic tits, which look like they have two peanut M&Ms, like, super glued to the end of them, just to make sure we can see. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine if one of those things got caught in a bandsaw? This person's trying to no. teach you shop. <laughs> well, he, let's make it clear here. Yes. He had to adjust the way he was using the tools for that class. Like, the way he was what? standing. Like, this is, this is bad stuff waiting to happen here. Yeah, this is this is going to be bad. You're going to get covered in silicone and rubber shards instead of blood, but it's still bad. <laughs> This isn't some comedy yeah. gag. It says, uh, for, it's from Redux, photos and videos of a Canadian high school teacher going viral as they show a male teacher wearing what appears to be large prosthetic breasts in full view of young students. Shocking media first began to circulate on Twatter earlier this week with multiple accounts sharing a mobile phone video and stills of a shop teacher demonstrating how to use a circular drill. I can't imagine any way in which this could go wrong. <laughs> the teacher's you know scene... As funny as this is, man, the Clown <laughs> World show is so insane that this is even a story. I know. You know, when I was in school, if somebody walked in like this, they'd be gone. Yes. That would be their last day. And I guarantee <laughs> you, if this was a straight female teacher coming in yeah. with, with big old bazoombas, or let's just take it the full nine, come in with a big old oh, fake yeah. erection stuffed down the front of her pants. You no, know, that was uh, something they pointed out. She's not even, he is not even following a dress code that the women have to adhere to. No. Everyone else has to, I mean, even Family Guy now is making fun of this. Somebody, it was like a I, person at the bar holding a cell phone and it says, oh, excuse me, you can't watch porn at the bar. Oh, it's okay. I'm transgender. Oh, okay. <laughs> do whatever you want all the time. <laughs> Ignore what I, I, mean, I said. Just how do you. Wake up in the morning, stuff a couple giant balloons into your shirt, look in the mirror and say, this is a good idea. It's <laughs> it's almost insane. caricature. Like, yeah. you know, if you grew up in the days of no internet or, or dial-up internet where you had to wait five hours and three shots of espresso to look at one pixelated tit on the internet... <laughs> <laughs> loading one line at a time. Yeah, and you had you had any capacity, you know, for or any capability to draw artistically, you know, and you do like to draw your own porn. Like there were dudes in my class who were you know pretty good at drawing, and they could draw you know like some pretty anatomically correct sort of you know naked women, but right. the tits were always these just embellished hyperbolic <laughs> shit like this person is wearing like and this is real life now it's like that drawing has come to life and now it wants to teach me shop <laughs> this is horrifying <laughs> i i can't man I just, what is it's wrong just, with canada it gets worse, doesn't it you had more to this didn't you <laughs> of course there's more to this why wouldn't there be I... Oh, oh, it's yeah. Oh, there's even there's more to this. Oh, yeah, there is more to this just on this article here. We can check out some more of this. What's oh, walking around the hallway, titties hanging down past the belly button. Yes, it's Canada. How did you guess? <laughs> Mr. Hannah just <laughs> going to work. <laughs> this looks like some kind of like deranged uh, Dr. Seuss character. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd want to find Waldo between those massive titties. It's, it's quite disgusting. No. And, and, you know, because there's going to be people who are inevitably going to try to come to this person's, like, rescue. They're going to defend this person. And, you know, just like Transformers are real, insert biological sex here. It's, fake tits are real mm. tits. Because they're real in uh, this person's it mind. It's coming. Yeah. No pun intended. It's coming. When the fake cocks are coming, then you got real problems. <laughs> uh, they already have. They're dishwasher safe. <laughs> dishwasher safe. I don't need a man. I just need 14 of his dishwasher safe analogs. And this, yep. is, <laughs> this is the original article. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> if you told me 10 years ago this was coming down the pipe and would be considered news, I would have said you were out of your damn mind. This is insane. Yeah. I, I don't. E I don't even have the correct words to explain what I'm looking at here. Yep. <laughs> Just, 
And the school defers to the Ontario Human Rights Code, suggesting that any concerns about Lemieux would be akin to discrimination. We strive to promote a positive learning environment in schools consistent with the values of HDSB and to ensure a safe and inclusive environment for all students, staff, and community, regardless of race, age, ability, sex, gender identity, gender expression, sexual orientation. You don't have to add in all this bullshit that we didn't used to have to worry about. This is how the left thinks they can win elections, aside from, you know, recruiting dead people. You know, I also kind of feel like this is all one massive distraction. If you can get people so divided with this nonsense and convince people this is normal, yeah. uh, the ones that should probably be on psychotropic drugs uh, in a nice padded room somewhere, like we used to do. Absolutely. Uh, if you can make that normal <laughs> and then get people infighting about this entire madness situation then uh you can keep them away from the real issues that they're doing behind the yep. scenes but here's the real question someone like this going out of their way to, to be a news item let, let's just call it you know whatever it is I and mean, this person's obviously attention whoring do you think they're legit or do you think this could possibly be Either an epic troll, one, or two, a money-making scheme. You know, that's a good question. Uh, this day and age, I'd say it's 50-50, man. Uh, yeah. The 50 being, they actually believe this nonsense, and they've got some weird, unresolved issues that they got to work out. Or, Clearly. <laughs> Yeah, it is Canada. <laughs> and those issues require gigantic troll. fake tits. I mean, that's the thing. That's why I said it could be an epic troll. <laughs> because, come on, maybe a D cup, but what are those? <laughs> those, I mean, I think we might have circumvented the alphabet at this point with these gigantic <laughs> things. Like, this is you know, redonkulous. It is, it is just about fall. Uh, those could be pumpkins, man. That might be what's going on there. It's pumpkin chunkin'. That's what's going on here. <laughs> We're gonna. This person is gonna show up one day, and there's gonna be little glowing faces with the nipples <laughs> as the nose. Well, I just, it's you know, it's Halloween. I had to hollow these bitches out. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a man o' lantern. <laughs> I hope this is a troll, man. I hope it is too. I really do. Well, because this sort of thing is so in your face. They're going against. Dress code, human decency, generally pretty much everything else. It very well could be, uh, all right, I'm going to do this because I want them to fire me so I can sue them for discrimination and make a million bucks. Yep. And then, you know, I get to go on the book tour because this is Canuckistan. You know, I can go on the talk show circuit. I can go on The View. And, and I could just put these massive fucking things just on the table next to Whoopi Goldberg, who's going to pretend like she doesn't want a cop a feel. You know, that's a brilliant idea. Uh, <laughs> what was his name in uh, MASH? I can't remember his name. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the guy that dressed like a lady wanted out of the military all the time. I feel like that could be what this guy's doing. I, I'm just going to cash in right now. <laughs> I'm just going to cash in right now while the getting's good. I don't think he realized just how woke Canada was, though, if, it was, <laughs> if that is the story. No, they might give him a raise. Yeah, because they're coming out. I mean, the the, uh, the actual uh, opening stanzas of the letter right next to this god-awful photo. Dear Oakville, Trey Falger, high school families were aware of the discussion on social media and in the media regarding Oakville, Trey Falger High School. We would like to take this opportunity to reiterate our community that we are committed to establishing and maintaining a safe, caring, inclusive, equitable, and welcoming learning and working environment for all students and staff. Most of that shit is not your problem. Equitable. No. I'm sorry, but not all people are created equal. Uh, Corporal Klinger. Rhino. Yep, that's it. Corporal Klinger. By the way, if you have not followed Red Rhino's channel, link is in the Meat Gazer box. You guys better get on that shit. Guy does. How many live streams are you doing a week now, good sir? Uh, I try for two. Uh, this week I only am uh, going to have one tomorrow, but I do try for two. Nice. And you do a call-in stream every Friday, right? Allegedly. For now. For yeah, now. we'll see how that goes. Last week, uh, a certain Polska. 
snuck some shit on the screen he shouldn't have. Uh oh. So if that if that kind of stuff happens, I'm gonna have to uh, mix um, the uh, call-ins. So what kind of stuff yeah. are we talking about here? Is this like triple X rated? Uh, how do I say it? Uh, YouTube friendly. All I know is I saw a woman on her knees for All a split holes second, being and that filled was once. <laughs> And I saw a little bit more than I should have. I'll got, just tell you that. Got the the Hawaii only reason Lua that I got saved on that is that uh, Riggs, I had his chat pulled up uh, on the screen, and Riggs' face covered whatever was going on there. Oh, well, that's kind of where Riggs gets his kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Covering up all holes being filled at once. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how he wind up with the syphilis. Oh, wait, this is Riggs Jr., my bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's Riggs, Riggs Jr., yes. Hopefully that's not all passed down genetically. Could be. <laughs> Dude would have the immune system of an infant. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all I can say is, is that if you do have an infant, don't let this catastrophic waste of genetics breastfeed your kid. Because this is the newest news that we have on Kayla Lemieux taking the big old fake titties to the swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, it's like an orange tree decided to dress up in a thorn wig. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm saved by the buoyancy of citrus. <laughs> it's an old Mitch Hedberg joke. This just... Uh... Uh, wow. I mean, just imagine when the string bikini comes out. Yeah, oh, no. You know, oh, no. Because, I mean, th these are obviously real. I mean, if, if you don't think <laughs> so, you're, you're just an istophobigot. These, I you know, fake titties are real titties because they're real in this person's mind. Therefore, when the, the bikini comes out with the banana hammock for the twig and berries that still haven't been hacked off. Yeah. I can't even finish the joke. <laughs> Wonderful imagery, man. Oh, it's just disgusting. <laughs> oh, you got Tucker's face there. <laughs> and it's, it's everywhere, but everybody's talking about this ridiculous person. <laughs> and at the same time, did you guys, uh, oh, did you? I don't know if you had time, uh, but uh, Blake, did you get to see any uh, Crowder's shows this week? Uh, no, actually, I, I, I caught a couple of the uh, the bits, but I haven't had a chance to watch a show this week. So they, uh, they, they, they. They got together, took a little break, and they all come back with the uh, the ginormous fake Oh, God. <laughs> and the guys are like, can I take these out yet? He says, no, this is how you identify now. I know it's uncomfortable, but you got to oh, keep Lord. me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Seriously, though, th these have got to be so damn heavy. Why would you want to do this to yourself? Yeah. I, I mean, if, if there was ever an argument for mental illness... I think this would be it because every woman I know with tits this big doesn't want them anymore. They want to slap God in the face and get them reduced rather than, you know, lose weight. You know, some of them have genuine problems. You know, there's actually there was a, a model named Yulia something. I want to say she was Russian or Ukrainian or something. She has a genetic condition where her tits will continue to grow throughout her entire life. So she ha she's mm -hmm. going to have to get them reduced like two or three times before she kicks her air addiction. It's huh. fun for a little while in the middle, but sooner or later oh, yeah. you got Franken titties because they've been cut on so many times. Nobody wants Franken titties, and no one wants uh, Johnny Five titties, which is what I think these are. You might as well just be a cyborg. Yeah. This is quite quite atrocious. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Uh, and meanwhile, Matt Walsh is out there doing the Lord's work. Um, and I don't know if you guys have heard about what's been going on at the Vanderbilt Clinic. This is in Tennessee. Uh, last I checked, people in Tennessee not too in with the wokeness. Not down with the, the wokeness? <laughs> yeah, they're not down with that particular sickness. Yeah. And it's in Nashville. And he has broken tons of news. All sources are available on redonculus.com, as always. Uh, it says here, my team and I have been investigating the trans former clinic in Vanderbilt in Nashville. Vanderbilt drugs, chemically castrates, and performs double mastectomies on minors, but it gets worse. 
<laughs> there's far more. They opened the clinic in 2018. During a lecture the same year, Dr. Shane Taylor explained how she convinced Nashville to get into the transition game. She emphasized that it's a big moneymaker, especially because the surgeries require a lot of follow-ups. What were we saying mm-hmm. on this show a few weeks ago about uh, turning these people into lifelong patients? Yeah. No, it's pretty profitable. Yeah. And screws them up really bad. Yeah. Not like a particular pharmaceutical company got over $40 billion, most of it in taxpayer money, to do just that. Were they uh, the sponsor of a lot of shows? Yeah, I think so. I think they sponsored. They even sponsored some new tech segments as a joke on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by... God. Vanderbilt was apparently concerned that not all of its staff would be on board. Dr. Ellen Clayton warned that conscientious objections are problematic. Anyone who decides not to be involved in transition surgeries due to religious beliefs will face consequences. Mm. So now we have the monetary incentive and the open threat to your livelihood and your position. You're not able to play the, uh, the clips, are you? Uh, just in case they say words that might get us flagged, I'm going to be, be, to be yeah. careful. In case yeah. the objectors hadn't gotten the memo, Vanderbilt unveiled a program called Transformer Buddies. The buddies are activists from the community who attend appointments with patients monitoring the doctors to guard against unsafe behavior such as misgendering. So now That's you have... That's the unsafe behavior. Yeah. So you have the financial incentive... The veiled threat, and now you have mm. the Gestapo. Wonderful. But, but you know, Pop and his three prong attacks. Here it is Vanderbilt yeah. makes their buddies available to children, too. They make a lot of services available to children, including castration, though at some point in the last month they removed explicit admission of this fact from their site. Unfortunately, the internet is forever, so there's an archived screenshot. If you have a twatter, follow Matt Walsh blog. You get to see all these. Uh, it is really, really hard for me to not say what I want to say. I'm not going to say it, but uh, if you can figure I'll out just, a way to say it, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out my best way to say it. I do not understand how these people have not been held accountable, and by accountable, I mean to the maximum punishable uh, under the law. I yeah. don't get it. It used to be everyone in this country understood that there is a line that you do not cross. That line is children. Mm-hmm. You don't abuse children. You don't touch them inappropriately. You, you, you don't kill them, although apparently Biden supporters are all about that now, as long as they're 18 and vote Republican. Um, yeah. We used to understand that children were to be protected. As innocence. We try to protect their innocence as long as possible. Now you have people from the alphabet mafia who want to include the pedos saying that childhood innocence is a myth. Yeah. And that they can be uh, schmexualized from a young age. And they, in fact, they should be because they really need to figure out who they are before they grow to a point where they might actually have the raw material to make something like this, well... It's never not going to be life threatening. So what why? What boggles my mind is how. <laughs> th- this is Ugh. where I'm drawing a blank, man. How, as a a country, as a people, have we allowed this debauchery to grow to this point unchecked? Yeah. I I don't get it. <sighs> and these same people who insist that you and I need to feel terrible. And pay mm. reparations for the acts oh, of, yeah. of like a small percentage of people in this country, the first of whom was black, by the way, 200 years yeah. ago. Okay. All of a sudden, they cannot be held to the same standard when it comes to gender theory, which was created by a human experimenting pedophile. So mm. we're all racist because of the actions of people 200 years ago. All right, fine. Fuck it. You're all pedos. Oh, it suddenly doesn't. It, it suddenly sucks when it goes back in your direction, doesn't it? Yeah. You see mm-hmm. how stupid that sounds. <laughs> My lord. But they really are. Just saying. 
The only reason oh, yeah. to insist that children have this sort of agency at a young age while simultaneously saying that you don't need to own a gun until you're 21, if ever, is because you want to diddle kids. You mm -hmm. want to insist that they have agency, so you should be allowed to do it. It's disgusting. Yeah. Well, you know, and uh, they're not even uh, getting parent uh, consent. This is all going on no. uh, at the schools behind closed doors. Yep. They're encouraging kids to not tell their parents. They're circumventing yeah. parental consent. And, you know, uh, actually, I just got a message today uh, from somebody on my Facebook friends list. And uh, she was saying, you know, because uh, she sees these on my post, posts and stuff like that. And she says, I was one of those kids uh, that uh, grew up. I was a tomboy. I played football. I did all that. Didn't want anything to do with Barbies or anything. And uh, she turned out feminine. Shocker. <gasps> but... Uh, if she had been a kid this day and age, yeah. oh, well, they might have signed her up for some treatment plans. Mm, she picked up a G.I. Joe instead of a Barbie. Well, got to start them on the yep. hormones. Mm. Yeah, that's not going to cause problems. It's not going to put them at exponential risk of cancer, self-deletion, any of that stuff. No. And then if they actually do go oh. through with it, you know, you got to you gotta dilate that man-made open wound every day. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it looks and feels totally natural when they connect that to your colon so that your shit can lubricate it. Oh, God. <laughs> nice. Nice. Not to mention the uh, the wow. permanent, not just physical, but mental damage it does to you as well. Yeah. These people need to be understood not in this way. They need to be understood. In fact, they need treatment. Real treatment. Yeah. This isn't it. This yeah. is butchery and when you start dragging children into it you're going to find out where that that line is where people just, you just should not cross it and yeah you're well on your way between this i don't know if... and the 18 year old kid who just got you know vehicularly homicided by a dude who is still trying to understand the charges against him because uh pedo hitler said that we were all extremists yeah that's a that's yeah. a cop out Mm -hmm. Um, as an adult, he knows exactly what he did. Yes, he does. Unless he's as mentally stunted and psychologically butchered as the people who try to go through the Vanderbilt Institute. There's more. <laughs> oh, no. They forgot to delete a video from Vanderbilt Psychiatry's YouTube channel back in 2020, which admits explicitly they will give and have given irreversible hormone treatments to children as young as 13. Mm. And after there, they have drugged... And, oh, are, go ahead, sorry. There are some serious repercussions to this. I'm not just talking about criminal stuff. I'm talking about the hormone stuff. Yeah. Uh, they have proven... In uh, in men, for example, if you give them too much estrogen, it creates an environment that uh, cancer can thrive on. Yes. Where the opposite is true uh, with women. If you pump them full of testosterone, uh, it, it's it's not beneficial to them. It makes them sick. Yeah. It's almost as if our bodies were designed to function as is with the necessary mm. hormones already supplied by our own endocrine system. Shock. Like I think you're going on a limb there. It's, uh, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, too far. I <clears throat> I'm not a doctor. I'm not a biologist. I can't tell you what a real woman is. But if I go to a zoo, I know for a fact that's a fucking tiger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These people don't think. <laughs> Well, yeah. the, the, well, the ones who, so. who want to diddle your kids and sell them all this shit to turn them into lifelong patients and give themselves yachts, they know exactly what they're doing. They know this is evil. They mm. know it's wrong. But there's such a financial incentive, they flat out don't care. No. They want to make their money, and they don't care who they hurt in the process because they bought into the climate change bullshit that says that we're already overpopulated, therefore reducing the population. Good thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and this is all tied back to the same uh, certain uh, organization that starts with a P, ends yep. with a hood. <laughs> and uh, they were founded on uh, eugenics. Yeah. I, I just, I don't understand how this all just exists in the same brain pan. It's like, you know, we're going to castrate and mutilate. You're, you know, and, and do all this horrible, vile stuff to your kids, but it's your fault because you should have aborted them like we told you to. 
<laughs> that's that's some logic there, man. That's insane. Huh. These yeah. are the mental knots that these people twist themselves into, though. <laughs> well, I don't think they, uh, well, I know they don't value human life. It's all an experiment. This is the new lobotomy. Yep. It's the mice utopia experiment in real life. Mm -hmm. So after they've drugged and sterilized the kids, Vanderbilt, as explained in this video presentation, will happily perform, well, zipper tits. There you go. They will turn Ellen Page into Elliot Page. Once again, those ab implants, totally natural. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Implant abs are real abs, you bigots. <laughs> <laughs> this is, they castrate, sterilize, mutilate minors as well as adults while apparently taking steps to hide this activity from the public view. This is what health care has become in modern America. Can't say I'm shocked because these are the same people who will insist abortion is health care. Yep. It's like saying rap pay is consensual. Sure. Wow. It's, it's just surprise sex. Yeah, it's, there's nothing bad about it. It's just surprise sex. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a oh, bitch. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, thankfully, since exposing this mess, uh, Matt Walsh is working directly with Tennessee reps to take action against the school, and the governor has ordered an investigation. So he's going after the Vanderbilt Clinic directly. And uh, considering the pains that Vanderbilt has gone through to make sure that this stuff doesn't make it into the public eye unless people are actively looking for it, hopefully uh, <laughs> chickens need to come home to roost. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. It's disgusting. Ugh. Well... What a time to be alive, Rhino. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, it's like uh, that book I uh, I read in school. Most of you probably did too. 1984, man. Yeah, a little bit. And left always as, uh, now. Crusader, mm. As Crusader Nate says, uh, live in the dream, but uh, nightmares <laughs> are dreams too. <laughs> yes, yes. I believe there was a whole whole series of movies made about a guy who kills you in your dreams. Lucky bastards. Uh, I <laughs> you die in your dreams, you die for real. <laughs> Those movies are mm. awesome. <laughs> mm. Well, I mean, unless you couldn't tell I'm a fan right here. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Although I, that I is Jack Earl Haley, who is the only good thing about that piece of shit remake. That remake was so See, fucking you got bad. Freddy and I got the uh, B-movie Puppet Master back here. Hell yeah. Well, the difference is you made yours, and I think that's badass. Yeah, yeah. It cost uh, way too many mistakes along the way. It was a frustrating process for sure. <laughs> well, you're never going to get it all right the first time. So, if you knew how just many times the first I chick I slept face, with, man, it was <laughs> what, what? Say that again. <laughs> I said you're never going to get it all right the first time. Just ask the first chick I slept with. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, there's that. It's okay. It took some time. <laughs> Yeah, we all embarrass ourselves the first time. <laughs> Unless yeah, she's so uh, loose, the, and then just, that puts you into a false sense of security. You're I'll like, tell you what, uh, the joke that goes around is uh, literally how it happened uh, my first time. Just the tip. <laughs> that, that, that was my line. <laughs> <laughs> just the tip. It worked. It's a platonic <laughs> sleepover. It's totally fine. It's all yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's all, it's all yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a guy it goes platonic sleepover dry humping insertion that's just, just how it goes <laughs> it, no. it's okay i just you know you look so tense i just want to give you a back rub it's just it's a, oh, your butt looks tense too i just want to keep going is that all right all right fine uh, <laughs> high school man <laughs> high school man high school Hey, you know, we've all been there. That's why dudes watch this show, is because we've all been there, we've all made stupid mistakes, and then we you know, hopefully we move on. Uh, let's see, we got uh, 40 people still watching over on Twitch, 50 on DLive. Nice. DLive is outgrossing the Twitch. 26 on Odyssey, which means Odyssey's probably screwing up real bad. i got to figure out that streaming game there. And we got 34 on MGTOW.TV and 574 on YouTube. Everybody's missing the popster tonight. We're all missing the popster tonight. So I will pass on his uh, everyone's well wishes to him, and uh, yeah, you know what? We could just if you if you're up for it, good sir, we can jump into some super chats here, and we may just end on here because it's only oh, it's only nine o'clock. So 
Unless y'all want some really good butts. Y'all want to go to New Tech and look at some really good butts? We can do that. Let me know what you think. Uh, but we'll read the rest of the YouTube chats here. Uh, we got uh, Swiggity Swooten. Blake Appreciation Post. Every evil genius has their Igor. Pop has the message, but it's Blake that takes it to the next level with the editing and tech know-how to allow the good word to spread. Well, thank you very much, good sir. And Swiggity Swooten also sent something to the Grunt Speaks email. Check this out here. Swiggity. Uh, been sitting on this meme, thought it was relevant regarding this teacher. All right. Just make sure that everybody can see this here. Man-made horror is unfortunately well within the limits of my comprehension. This does not make it better. It makes it worse. <laughs> Are you talking mm -hmm. specifically about Transformers, or did this just bring it up in your head? <laughs> Talk about man-made horrors. And these people all think that when they're done, they're going to be man-made whores. Oh, yeah. That's not really how it's going to work out. Even the people who nope. like anal don't really like shit on their dick. Just saying. To my knowledge. Allegedly. Yeah. Not that Allegedly. I would know or anything. <laughs> Quit digging. <laughs> Quit digging. Oh, man. All right. So it looks like everybody wants the butts. So we're going to jump All on right. over to New Tech for some good butts. We're going to read some super chats. We may even have some stories that people have been sending me stories all week. We even have a couple of crazy uncle emails that were sent on Tuesday that I think everybody just did, he didn't get the memo that we weren't streaming that night. Pop was out of town, and then he comes back, and he's sick as a dog. So I will pass along your well wishes to Pop. If you wish to join us on New Tech, look for the links in the chat on YouTube, and we will see you guys in about five minutes. So empty your squirrel bladders. See you soon.